Episode 18 Pelotas Case Pelotas, Brazil Pelotas is a city located in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, with a population of over 300,000 inhabitants. In 1996, it was one of the most popular cities in the state. The pilot, named Geraldo Westendorf, had training for commercial flights and had undergone an aerobatics course in Memphis, United States. He had accumulated more than 4,000 flight hours and was a two-time Brazilian aerobatics champion. At just 19 years old, Geraldo already had permission to pilot airplanes. Geraldo was also an entrepreneur who, until that day, didn't believe in flying saucers or have any interest in the subject, as he had never witnessed anything unusual during all his flying hours. On October 5, 1996, the entrepreneur and pilot Aroldo Westendorf was piloting a Tupi single engine aircraft over Lagoa dos Patos in Rio Grande do Sol. On that day, the sky was clear and sunny with scattered clouds providing excellent visibility for the flight. Around 10 in the morning, the pilot was flying at an altitude of 1,800 meters over the region of Saragonha Island when he came across a gigantic object flying over the area. According to the pilot, the object was the size of a football stadium and approximately 50 meters in height. It had a pyramidal shape with eight sides and protrusions along its entire circumference resembling bubbles. Its movement was slow. During this period, he contacted the control tower at the Pelotas airport, which informed him that they had no information about any possible object. The object, rotating around its own axis, was slowly heading towards the sea However, at the Pelotas airport, one of the operators, Gilberto Martins dos Santos, managed to observe something pyramidal through his binoculars, casting an unusually large shadow. At a certain point, a hatch opened at the top of the object, and three disc-shaped objects emerged. The objects rose vertically, tilted, and quickly disappeared. At that moment, Geraldo maneuvered the plane to get a view inside the object, eventually circling it five times. It was then that the larger object began emitting reddish rays toward the sky, causing the pilot to make evasive maneuvers and move about 200 meters away from the object. Shortly thereafter, the craft rapidly ascended into space and disappeared. Geraldo managed to land his plane without any issues. Later, he decided to make his entire experience public because other witnesses agreed to confirm what they had seen and he had no contract with any airline that could silence him. Don't forget to click like, subscribe and to turn on the notifications. I will see you on the next episode of UFO Real.